All right, welcome back. Let's play Metal Gear Solid Part 12. We are duking it with Liquid Snake. Who is a pain in my ass? That's right. I would kick you in the ass. If you decide to do that again. Seriously, get up! What makes this better? Fight. Hurry. It's going to blow. Nice shot. Yeah, now he's gonna start using his little combos and his kick. Pseudo kick. Oh, there's his tackle. Better hurry. It's going to blow. Judo kick. You have to avoid that kick at all costs. And that. That's a that's not good. Yeah, when he's moving around like that. You're out of time! You're out of time. You are out of time, Liquid. You're not getting me this time. That's right. Who's the boss? Not you. I gotta get him towards the edge. <laughs> Shit. You're out of time. Watch out. There we go. Got him with nine seconds left. Woohoo! <laughs> and a sliver of life. <laughs> Liquid! <laughs> we did it! We beat Liquid! I think. Meryl! Meryl, are you okay? They didn't hurt you too bad, did they? Meryl? Meryl? Why didn't the bomb explode? I had nine seconds left. That, 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 it's already Snake, been like 30. Is that you? Snake! Oh, you're alive! Yep. Thank God! I'm Meryl. alive. Meryl, are you okay? Wow. Are you okay? Is that all you can say? Meryl, it must have been terrible. You're a true romantic. Oh, it wasn't you know that, that bad. You're a true romantic. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? Torture? And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. Aww. I felt like you were there with me. Aww. It gave me the strength to go on. Meryl. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. What? A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Meryl. Snake. I wanted to see you again. Meryl. I love you. That's my Kodak. Kodak? Interrupted by Kodak. Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. <laughs> I got some bad news, too. Uh -oh. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Yep. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? 
I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... Do what I always do. I'll stay here. Are you crazy? Don't, don't stay here. I need a little here. more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't, don't worry. Sacrifice yourself. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon. This is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Hmm. Snake, I'm a complete person now. That's I've good. found a reason to live. Good. Keep on living. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? Don't you go dying. I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Got it. Thanks. Thanks? Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. Snake, what a great guy. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otacon? Otacon. He's... He's... Fighting right now. With his old self. To be the man he wants to be. Oh, okay. He's fighting for us too? Yep. Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Okay, so the fall would hurt you. Yeah, they can jump straight down. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Meryl. Catch her, dude. Nice catch. Snake. Kiss me. Meryl. I think Snake is getting a little bit of a snake. It started. That's a bad joke. I must be heavy. Looks like we're not gonna have a love scene after all. Damn it. Looks that way. Too bad. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. My sneaking suit. There's my sneaking suit. Hurry up. I've got enough time to put it on, apparently. This scene's kind of ridiculous, Hurry. I think. Looking good, Snake. Thanks for checking me out, buddy. Okay. So we finished up Metal Gear. We finished off Liquid. That's just another Hurry! thing out. Before I do that, I am going to uh, call Mei Ling and just do my final save. Snake, they've placed the Kano under arrest. I, I don't know what I should do. This will probably be your last save. I'm going to miss those proverbs of yours. Snake. Mei Ling, I have a favor to ask you. Make a hard copy of all the yes. codec conversation data up insurance. to this point. I want some insurance. Okay, Snake, leave it to me. Let's save this. Get rocking. Snake, please, be safe for me. I will do my best. Oh, ration, 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 ration. Let me put that. Uh, we basically have I'll no drive. weapons. I'll drive! Damn, a surveillance camera! Oh, uh, Meryl. Of all the things... Damn, no keys! <laughs> all right, keys! Jump in! Okay. Fire that machine gun with your weapon! Snake, hold on! Alright, so here comes the shoot 'em up section of Metal Gear Solid 1. If you hold down triangle, you can go into first person mode, which is so much easier to shoot than in third person. Security uh -oh, check. Here we go. We'll never make it. Snake, clear a pen. There we okay, go. Okay, Snake, let's go. Wait, not you, babe. I only have one rack. I don't know why. I'm We're not out of the woods yet. Here they come. Seriously. We'll never make it. Snake, clear a pen. Trying. You're dead. You did it, You're all dead. By my hand. It's not over yet.
not it's over not yet! It's not over yet! Liquid! Somehow, liquid must be made of like... I don't know, adamantium or something? Because he survived an explosion inside the cockpit of Metal Gear Rex. Fall from Metal Gear Rex. Damn it. And how many bullets am I throwing into him right now? Damn it. Asshole. Die! Die! Just die! Why can't you just die right? Oh, there goes my rat. Hopefully I don't get it again. Life left, I still made it. Yeah. <laughs> that part gets annoying. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That was a crash. It's at least daytime now. It was a nasty crash. Meryl! Meryl, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Just a little shook up. Meryl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? Liquid? I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. You better be. I wouldn't count on it, Snake. Uh-oh. Snake! It's not over yet. Snake. Oh no. Fuck. If he's dead, that means... I'm gonna die too. Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. It's been called off. Snake, can you hear me? Yep. Colonel. Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Ah. Early retirement. Nice. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid dun, and the nuclear dun, strike? Dun, 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 the orders were rescinded. Dun, dun, dun. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Woo. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. Yeah. In any case, the danger's over. Good. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Meryl's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I... I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake. We all keep things I'm from not each other. a Colonel. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. 
There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. Good. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. Nice I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. Yeah. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. Nice. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. Awesome. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Nice. Snake, it's me. Naomi. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. What a lie. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost what, looking for a place to die. That's what happens when they take somebody who's near death and just throw them in an exoskeleton. No reason to live. Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Riddle? Live, Snake. Just live. That's all I can say to you. Just live. Live for the moments. Live for Meryl. Oh, I've got Meryl at my side. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. Pretty interesting. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want choose to live. Choose life. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Just do it. Live, man, live. 
Machines exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Which is? Thank you, Snake. <coughs> Look! I found this! Let's keep it. As a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Hmm. Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Look me in the Maybe face. Maybe it's written into my genes. Death. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. Oh. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? As long as a there's enough gas in the snowmobile Will to get we us find there. it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. What are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time. But Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. Aw, Snake. I think... I'm gonna like this He's new life. He's such a romantic. Come on. Let's enjoy life. So there you have it, folks. Metal Gear Solid 1 for the PlayStation 1. I'm glad that you uh, stuck through it and watched everything. And uh, as always, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what games you'd like me to do next. And... Um, Appreciate you watching and keep on gaming.
Don't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life, and then live. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox dies should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes. 
The inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one, Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President.